Can't wait to win. Densmore was looking toward an appeal. A former McMaster University student accused Densmore of sexual assault after an encounter in 2020. He argued the sex was consensual. Densmore will be back in court next month for sentencing. He could get up to 10 years in jail. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the details surrounding the YouTuber Jack Denmo, okay, AKA Jack Densmore, a Hamilton, Ontario based YouTube pickup artist. Okay, this guy is the former ex-roommate of Austin Summers who was kicked out of Columbia for being a nuisance and doing a lot of creepy, weird shit. We're gonna take a look at the news segment about this and we're gonna look at an article about this, but you're gonna wanna stick around till the end because there's a lot of uh, important and interesting information. And this is some pretty new developments here. Guilty verdict today in the sexual assault trial of a Hamilton YouTuber. The judge ruling that Jack Densmore didn't get the consent of a woman he had a sexual encounter with five years ago. Al Sweeney has the details. Jack Densmore. So this is the dude. I ran into this guy in Brazil. Okay, he's a fucking annoying dumbass. He runs around on these college campuses and, and films these little prank videos. He thinks he's so clever. He puts out a lot of really dog shit dating advice. He put out a recent video that said, online dating apps are hurting your dating. Yeah, sure, buddy. Total fucking retard. <laughs> when I saw him in Brazil, I'm like, hey, keep making shitty content that I can make fun of. And he's like, oh, you're that dude. It's like, yeah, I'm that dude. Appeared confident going into court this morning. Look, see, he's all confident going in. He thought he was going to get let off. For the verdict. Can't wait to win. After the judge brought Can't wait to win. I got my little uh, lanyard sticking on my pants. On that verdict, Densmore was looking toward an appeal. I'm innocent. Man, I can't wait to appeal it, man. That's all I gotta say, really. Everybody knows I'm innocent. 30-year-old Densmore calls Can't wait to appeal it, man. Now, I asked ChatGPT how this is gonna go for him because he also has a second case for sexual assault and the, and the details there are not so well known in the news. I will be reporting on it once it become, once more things come to light. ChatGPT estimates that he will serve between three and 10 years of jail time. Keep in mind, he's convicted now, he's convicted of sexual assault. So that carries three to 10 years. And that second case could add additional time onto his sentence. And I said, how does the appeal or the, the fact that he wants to appeal this play into all of it? And it said that appeals can take a long time and very likely he would start serving jail time while the appeal is ongoing. Himself a prankster and comedy content creator known for posting videos on YouTube. Everybody was staring at me, which I don't blame them. I'm a great looking guy. His postings include videos with university students who appear to be intoxicated. A former McMaster University student accused Densmore of sexual assault after an encounter in 2020. He argued the sex was consensual. But after the trial, Justice John Krochenko ruled that it ought to have been clear to the accused that he had overstepped and she was no longer consenting. He said Densmore mistook her body language for consent as the sexual activity progressed. The judge cited Mr. Densmore's recklessness and willful blindness and failure to take any reasonable steps in the circumstances to ascertain if the complainant consented. And he rejected part of Densmore's testimony in court as unworthy of belief. And these fucking retards give the whole space a bad name. Austin Summers was kicked out of Columbia. They said he was running these predatory dating boot camps. Okay, guys like David Bond was kicked out of Brazil. Then we have Mr. Jack Densmore here, aka Jack Denmo, causing trouble in Canada. Okay, that's where Austin Summers is from as well. And, and pickup artists have been banned from the Eaton Center in Toronto. These guys are just like out of control, right? And then it all comes back on the pickup artist space in the menosphere. And they're like, oh, look at all the bad people there. There's actually people in the industry doing a lot of good stuff. I have the industry leading best mentorship program evidenced by over 1,250 testimonials. We show guys exactly how to build their online profiles on Tinder, exactly what to message on the apps, exactly what to text, exactly how to run their dates and close their dates and keep the girls they want and how to walk up to girls in public and either take them home or get their phone numbers. I have thousands and thousands of success stories and you can be the next one. All you have to do is go to the link in the description to find out more details and pricing or you can go to PlatinumDatingSystem.com. Sexual Assault Center says consent has to be ongoing and is essential to a healthy relationship. There was no comment from the victim after the verdict and Densmore's lawyer 
didn't say whether there will be an appeal. Despite the conviction, Mr. Densmore maintains his innocence with respect to this conviction. We are all shocked and surprised at the verdict. Densmore will be back in court next month for sentencing. He could get up to 10 years in jail. Look how happy he is. He's thrilled, even though he's going to get up to 10 years in jail. It's like Tate. Okay, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, they put on these like nice suits and they're out parading in front of the media with their cigars. Oh, everyone knows it. Uh, so shut the fuck up. The chickens come home to roost and karma is a bitch and these guys are going to get fucked. He's facing an upcoming trial on another charge of sexual assault. Like he's winking at people. It says he's facing another trial on an upcoming, <laughs> upcoming on fucking sexual assault. Okay, so here we are with the article. We're gonna go through this quickly. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, so YouTuber convicted of sexually assaulting McMaster student. Jack Densmore is found guilty of raping a student on a first date. Okay, here he is with his little Burger King hat, which maybe he'll he'll be wearing in jail when he's getting his back door knocked down. So he was convicted of sexually assaulting a, a student wearing a crown. He partied with thousands of students near campus at an unsanctioned home coming party on October 21. A controversial YouTuber who encourages university students to have sex with multiple partners and sells advice on picking up women has been convicted of sexual assault. Jack Densmore, who goes by Denmo online, was found guilty Friday of raping a McMaster University student on a first date. Densmore, 30, wearing a blue shirt and tie, sat ramrod straight and expressionless as Superior Court Justice John Krachenko delivered his decision. Beside him, his lawyer covered his face with his hands. Behind them, Densmore's girlfriend and sister held hands and wept. On the other side of the courtroom, the student, surrounded by supporters, gasped. Her identity is protected by a publication ban. Densmore's sentencing hearing will take place later. He's been allowed to remain out of custody until then. He also has another sexual assault trial coming up involving a different woman. In that matter, he is charged with sexual assault, voyeurism, and distributing intimate images. Now, what's interesting here is since he was already convicted on the first one, even though he's appealing it, that should weigh into heavily, I suspect, the second trial in the second case. When they go to look at this charge of sexual assault in the second trial, they're going to say, hey, wait a second, this guy was just fucking convicted of sexual assault. He probably did it here too. Like, oh, we all thought he would be innocent. Why are multiple girls accusing him of rape and sexual assault? Okay, it's the same with fucking and top G, the retard. Hey, oh, the Matrix is after me. The Matrix attacked me. He was getting girls filing police reports alleging rape and physical attack and strangulation in multiple countries across multiple years from multiple girls, including alleged eyewitnesses to the alleged rapes and alleged physical attacks. He even had a poster up about who's going to get fucking choked out today and all this stuff. And apparently he would announce that and he'd start the day that way every day. Terrible people doing terrible shit okay it needs to be stood up against it needs to be called out and it needs to look he's coming out of there all all grinning smiling from ear to ear and he's still making content even though he's a convicted rapist now mr jack densmore aka jack denmo is still putting out fucking dating content Krachenko, who heard the case without a jury, told the court he believed the student on every critical point and did not accept the defense argument that Densmore mistakenly believed she consented. Densmore and the student were the only two witnesses to testify at the trial. Her evidence was she consented to kissing and some touching, but not unprotected vaginal sex. Densmore testified she moaned and talked duty to him, which she believed was consent, but the judge didn't buy a crucial piece of his story. The court heard the student realized Densmore was videotaping her performing oral sex on him. Densmore said he was making a consent video. The judge said Densmore's explanation was too incredible to believe and was made up by the accused. Why would Densmore make a consent video during sex without consent? If Densmore completely deleted the video in front of the student as he claimed, why did she continue to worry that he would post it online? The judge said it is logical and believable that after the student saw Densmore using his camera that she wanted to leave his room. At that point, the judge said the student withdrew her consent for sex. That's obviously a gray area on its own and is very you know, alarming that, you know, they're looking at that as, okay, she's consensually giving him a blowjob, but then she changed her mind after that. Okay, that's what they're saying. Krushenko went on to find that Densmore took the student's dress and underwear off without her consent and penetrated her without asking and without a condom and ultimately ejaculated on her back. While the student's testimony was logical, Densmore's was flip and it appeared to be made up on the spot and was unworthy of belief. Densmore was either reckless when he proceeded with intercourse or willfully blind, the judge said. After the camera incident, Densmore should have paused, regrouped, and received consent. The judge also, also rejected the defense argument that friends, family, and a therapist who encouraged the student to have a sexual assault kit done at the hospital and report the incident to police colluded to demonize Densmore. For starters, the defense was wrong to use the word collusion. 
Kroshenko said what the lawyer meant was inadvertent tainting. But the judge dismissed even that suggestion, saying the student's supportive network of people had no effect on the reliability of her evidence. On August 5th, 2020, Densmore and the student met for the first time. She was 19 and had just finished her first year at Mac. He was 26, had gone to college, and bounced from job to job. On YouTube, he posts videos of himself hitting on female university students, encouraging students to drink and have sex with multiple partners at homecoming street parties, and pulling crude pranks on campuses. He also has a side hustle as a pickup artist, doling out life lessons to young men, including advice to make consent videos. Some of his videos have been viewed 10 million times. He's banned from campuses across Ontario, including McMaster. The date was supposed to involve a hike and dinner or drinks, but instead the entire media blasted just 75 minutes with about half of that spent in his bedroom watching Netflix. Densmore lives in a small house on the mountain with his roommates. Densmore has continued to post new videos during his trial. The week he testified, he posted one about masturbating when he can't focus on his work. The day before his conviction, he posted advice on finding a new career, in which he says that being self-employed gives him more more time to ejaculate. He did not mention his criminal proceedings. That is that. If you want to learn how to date properly and not get in trouble for being a retard and how to have more dates so you know what to do with, I can help you. Go to the link in the description or pinned comment. Get on a free 30-minute call. Someone from my team will go over all the options and pricing with you. We have the industry-leading best program. There's over 1,250 testimonials and there are ways to avoid stupid shit like that happening. Again, him and his extramate Austin Summers were already causing trouble all over the place, acting like retards, and it eventually came to bite them in the ass. But I can help you so that you don't have to worry about stuff like this. You can actually have a successful dating life that's full of whatever options okay, you so desire. You can get your dream girlfriend or your dream rotation. I can help you get there. All you have to do is go to that call link or to platinumdatingsystem.com. Watch my video on the end screen that goes over a video where I made fun of Mr. Jack Denmo. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you think this was a just ruling or unjust and why, what you think of Mr. Jack Denmo and make sure you like the video and subscribe. Thank you guys. And I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. I said, fuck the industry and did it my way. My way. I learned how to roll a weed. I didn't roll a skate. Now nah. go in the back. Y'all look at the lake and I meditate. Yeah. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh, shit, cause I'm a player Quarterback, no NFL Ay.